name's Marie Crandall and I live in Plymouth, England. In Second Life, I'm avatar, avatar Lydia Milner. In January of this year, I went to the Tech Virtual in Second Life and built a prototype of an exhibit on the theme of art, film and music. I'm delighted to say that my exhibit is one of six that has been selected by the Tech Museum in San Jose to be built here in the Real Tech Museum. Behind me, you can see screens showing machinima that was shot in Second Life. The films were shot by the avatars who built exhibits prototyped at the Tech Virtual and show the Tech Virtual in Second Life and many of the avatars building and their exhibits. Six of these exhibits have been chosen to be built here at the Tech Museum and we're going to now take a tour and have a look at these exhibits and a few of the ones that didn't get made here but still worth a mention. Follow me. This is my exhibit, Mashup Masterpieces. It shows paintings by three painters, which have all been loaded into this machine here. And people can use the tools here to choose the color and the tool to create their own version of the paintings. This young lady is adding to a painting that already exists by selecting her own tools and her own colors to create her own painting. The painting's then saved on a digital tech tag, and she can view it online and save it on her computer. She this is the dial here on the palette to select the colour and then there are different tools here to give you a thickness of paint. The spin browser here allows you to speed through the painting from beginning to end so you can paint at whichever stage of the painting you want. This exhibit by Nick Chen allows you to be a video jockey. A video jockey is an artist who mixes images and sound into multimedia performances. These children have a fantastic time learning about music and image. Video game designer and digital poet Jason Nelson designed the art on this table to honor inventors who sparked major advances in computing technology. It's called Tilty Table. As you move the table, the graphics change in line with the movement. Could you tell us a little bit about how you got the idea? Well, uh, originally I'm actually a net artist, and so I was very interested in how you translate artwork that's made for the net right. um, into a physical space. Uh, so they approached me and said actually they had an idea for possibly creating this strange sort of table, um, and then I translated some of my artworks uh, to fit the format. So in essence, the table is more or less just a mouse, and it's just an alternative mouse device. And are you really excited to be here in San Jose and see how it turned out? It's actually quite brilliant, yes. I mean, it, it, it's, it's stunning. To to actually see it. Um, I think a lot of times you work in the digital arts and especially like for example Second Life, uh, you're sort of separate from other people. But to watch kids sort of banging on the table and moving things around is, 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 is quite an experience and especially given that this gallery is open to exploring not only educational exhibits but actually incorporating artistic elements because this very much would be something that would end up in a gallery someplace. So it's nice having the merge of the two. Mm. Thanks very much Jason, congratulations. Oh, Thank you very much, cheers. This is John Brichard, an architect from Wisconsin and the architect of this exhibit here, Wikisonic. Pressing the blue buttons creates notes. They all then play together as you move along from left to right. You can use a bass tune or start totally from scratch as John's doing here. John, could you tell us what your thoughts were behind this? Well, I came to Second Life from an architectural perspective and started using it for um, architectural collaboration. And um, I started to wonder if maybe the same principles of, of collaboration could be applied to music. And so um, I worked with a scripter and uh, at, you know kind of developed a, a system in world for the uh, virtual Wiki Sonic we call it. Um, and so multiple people can work together to write a song. Where and that's kind of like a, a jazz sort of like improvisation where one person starts the song and another person can complete it. And it just is kind of this ongoing constantly evolving uh, song um, and so this is the real life uh, ins installation of it it's kind of an amazing uh, way that they realized it in Second Life it's obviously a lot easier because you don't have gravity to deal with but um, it's pretty pretty amazing so and Annie helped uh, come up with some of the technical solutions for actually implementing it in real life so it's kind of all a collaborative process for sure this is Pete and Alan from Manchester, also in England, and they've designed Connecting Point that you can see behind us. Pete, can you tell me the idea behind it? Uh, yeah, it was really to create a portal so that um, people in real life could interact with people in avatars in Second Life. Fantastic! And Alan, how do you think it turned out? It turned out amazing. It's, um, it's very different to the first prototype, but it was a great working process with the tech and trying to um, pull together the ideas and working as a kind of team with people that we hadn't met before in 
the, the real world. It was it was a nice kind of dynamic pulling stuff together. It's turned out really nice though. Re really great to see people using it as well, to actually see the young people on there playing on it. It's fantastic. And it's keeping everyone pretty fit as well too, I think. It was keeping me fit last night when I was playing on it, yeah. Designed by Canadian philosoph philosophy PhD student Leanne Garvey. The music's made literally by using your seat. You sit on the chairs here and it makes different musical instruments play here. There are different styles of music. Jazz, classical, hip hop. So you choose the style of music you want from the panel over here and then the participants in the audience make the music for you. <laughs> Zena, can we film you guys? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, when you sit on different seats, you activate instruments. So, you know, you're on the purple seat, you're activating the bass, and then these armrests let you add in some extra sound. So you can move them. original concept. You move around on these instruments, you make the music happen, but then we really had to say, okay, what's the real version of this? Yeah, because this is the one that when I saw the Second Life, I was like, well, this is totally cool, but this is pure Second Life. Like, yeah, there's exactly. no way to, to yeah. do this. So, and there, there were exhibits, you know, this back wall has all of these um, award winners that were virtual only, and so these were all examples. This one's a great example. This is a gorgeous exhibit made in Teen Second Life by these two guys. You get on this floor. Oh, and the it, color follows you and then you mix it? Exactly, when you walk close to somebody yeah, else yeah, it yeah. mixes. And they said to us, they're like, you could do this in real life. I'm like, well, we, we can't make, what's great about this is a beauty that we yeah. can't do in real life. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. we wanted Very to find hard. ways to acknowledge that as well. But for us, it's been a really cool challenge to say, this is not an exhibit we would ever have said, okay, here, here's what we're gonna do and yeah. here's how we're gonna start. There exactly, there it is, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. That is so amazing that this happened so fast. I just can't believe it. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like two or three years. Well, there is, so well, yes, this is just the beginning of, yeah, what will be a larger gallery. Yeah.